It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. Well, the Bengals getting set for their first possession of the ball game and leading them out in his third season. Really the face of Cincinnati football, Joe Burrow. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Now it's Burrow. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, this defense for the Jets, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Burrow to Boyd there for the Cincy first. The Bengals at 2-0 here to begin the season, and they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Escaping the pressure right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Open man is Chase complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Play action, it's Burrow. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. To try again after the sack. Burrow eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3-0. I think we can safely say they came out to be aggressive on the opening series, Charles. They didn't run the ball once. All that passing, it does get them the three to nothing lead. I think what we saw there, partner, was a true definition of football balance, which means doing what you want to, when you want to on offense. And in this case, it was throwing the football. They may mix in running the football a little bit more as this game goes on. But his opening drive, while it stalled out, it still gave him three points. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and ten. At their own 22. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Wilson and Moore there for a Jets first. A 
Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he stopped immediately there. Jesse Bates made the tackle from his safety spot. To throw is Wilson. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Now, the Bengals had the remarkable run to the Super Bowl last year, but one team that gave them trouble were these New York Jets. You might remember back in week eight, it was the Jets rallying behind backup Mike White. Who threw and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Sam Hubbard able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flushed out right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. First down, here's Burrow. Flush to his right. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, and they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Burroughs throw here on target to Hurst. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Burrow on third down. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Now it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. On third down, Burrow. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 42. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. And Hayden Hurst's only year as the unquestioned starter. He had 571 yards and six touchdowns for Atlanta. The Bengals, they remembered him when he was a player with the Baltimore Ravens and liked his game. So when they needed a new starter, he was their choice, and he gets him a first down here. Rolling to his right. This is caught, it's Boyd. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. Another good gain, that's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Two big plays in succession, not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they gotta get ready, it's first and goal. Again, it's Burrow. That's to Chase, he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase, his fourth touchdown on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That's And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. 
Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Jamar Chase who finished it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Some good games coming up here in week three, the first weekend of fall officially. And tonight, the Niners and Broncos from Denver. 49er fans are probably saying, wait, I thought we were done with Russell Wilson. No, they'll see him tonight. And then on Monday night, Cowboys and Giants from MetLife Stadium kicking off at 8.15 Eastern. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now the second year man from Carolina, this is Michael Carter. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Wilson. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. He rifles one that's intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Burrow will throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long way. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Samaj P. Ryan. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton, and they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. A very good starting field position for the Bengals here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. And they go play action now. Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. To throw again on second down. Burrow escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect them with his legs for that first down pickup. It's going to wind up in 
incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and control you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we have reached halftime here, and it's a no-break deed, and let's get back to it. Week three, here we go with quarter three. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that he's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A give up the middle to come. And it's a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Now Burrow, forced out to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A good pick up there, a 22. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. No matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. This is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Burrow on play action. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Another 
shot from the one on second and goal. Burrow going to keep it himself. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Now this time he'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Oftentimes when you lose in a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Hall. And the Jets are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst, and he is gonna lose yardage here. Second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. On second down, Burrow able to find Higgins. So give him two yards there on the completion. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. The offense on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and 19. Dancing to his left. And that will be incomplete. It's been a fun game for him so far, but I think he tried to do just a little too much that time. Give the defense a rare win on that snap. Fourth down, here's Joe Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? 
This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. The quick slant caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second and goal from the one. They'll look to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bengals are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Wilson's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw complete there to Moore. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. On second and 15 now, Burrow. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Well, that gives him a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, a pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. And their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. 
Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Now Wilson on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Now it's Wilson. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And out now here come the Bengals. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Looks like he'll throw here. He'll bite, and he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Quincy Williams worked his way back for that sack. Now Burrow down around his goal line. This one caught downfield by Higgins, and he gets it to the... It's all said and done. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect